as far as what it looks like in a swatch, it's amazing. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a review and swatches video for y'all today on a palette. This is the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlight 6 Color Palette. So I'm going to do like I normally do in my review videos. We'll talk about pricing, look at packaging, we'll look at some swatches, and then I'm going to do some comparisons between these and some possible other similar duo chromey sort of highlights that I have in my collection and just kind of see are they similar, how do they differ, all those kinds of things. So I'll do some of those for you and then just kind of give you my overall thoughts and impressions and review on this palette. So let's get to it. First, starting with the pricing and packaging. The pricing on this palette will definitely vary because BH Cosmetics kind of like switches up their different sales so the pricing on their products fluctuates. When I bought it, it was $17 so just super affordable. I mean that's in essence like in a nutshell what the pricing situation is here. It's a really affordable, nicely priced palette. As far as the packaging goes, I think it's really pretty. Like it's a an outside sleeve sort of a situation. So that's what that looks like. And then the actual palette looks like this. So it's a really like, I don't know, clean, cool looking kind of a packaging. I really like that they basically like mimicked the inside of the palette on the outside. And I like this. I think it's just pretty to look at kind of like, clean but pretty so it's like a um cardboardy sort of a packaging so not like you know the most high end but i don't ever mind that i think it's really functional it works well if it keeps the price low i don't mind that at all has a really nice mirror up there which is really great and as far as what you get in here this is just a really colorful highlighting palette so you really get a lot of variety um this is not a neutral highlighter palette. This is a colorful highlighter palette, but these pans are huge. You get, let's see, a net weight of 35 grams, 1.23 ounces. So a lot of product in here, really big pans. And yeah, it's just a colorful highlighter palette. So let's go through the different colors. So the first one we're gonna look at is this one right here. This is Electra. Now these two right here are probably gonna be the ones that you have the closest to in your collection, really probably Electra, even more so than Strobe because this one is just so light. You may not have as many of those in your collection, but these sort of colors are just a little bit more common, like that kind of um, light golden sort of a highlighter. So just know when I'm showing you swatches, the giant one in the middle is the main one we're talking about. So here is Electra. The closest one that I have is this one right here. This is Pixies glowy powder in london luster so there's that one down here i compared it to becca's moonstone which is like where is it <laughs> it's just a lot more subtle than this you can see how metallic -y that one is over here i wondered about that but that's really not that close at all what is that one that is makeup geeks duo chrome highlighter in electrify that is much more yellow toned so it really isn't super duper close to any of these. It's closest to London Luster, but it is that sort of a color that you probably have something similar in your collection, but it is a really beautiful, just kind of light, um, icy, yellowy sort of a highlighter, like a really pretty gold. Next up is Laser, and this is the kind of like greeny sort of a color from the palette. So that's what it looks like in the palette. This one is really a cool, different sort of color. So there it is right there. So it, like when I'm swatching it, I see more lightness and more of like a white base. But when I look in the mirror and the viewfinder, it looks a lot more green. So it's up here. So there is that one. Down here is something very similar. This is from the Moonchild palette. This is Lucky Clover. So those are pretty darn exact. So I would say that those are pretty much a dupe. Like just looking at them, I really don't see a lot of difference. Um, at least in the viewfinder, when I'm looking here, when I'm looking down at my hand, Lucky Clover looks more green. And um, the one from the BH Cosmetics palette looks lighter, but they're still really close. So if they're not dupes, they're almost dupes. Next up is the blue from the palette. This is Queen. Just a really cool, unique color. This one is one of the standouts for me from this palette just because I feel like it's really amazing and really unique. So there's Queen. 
Here are two possible comparisons right here. This one right here. These are both from the Moon Child palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this one up here is Blue Ice. And that one down there is Blue Moon. So Blue Ice is much more purple. And Blue Moon is more of like a cornflower blue. Whereas this is more of like a duochrome mermaidy sort of a blue. It's amazing. This is incredible. So metallic. I love this one. Now we're moving down to the bottom row of the palette. So this one is strobe. This is the kind of like white silver of the palette. This one is really cool and really intense. Now this has a really, I'll talk more about the texture in a second, but this one specifically has a really thick kind of intense is how I would describe it sort of a texture. It's just really thick. It's not like a soft, um, sort of a powder. So I haven't used this one on my cheekbones, but I bet that's going to be a little bit difficult to blend. So I would say get the tiniest little bit of that and tap off your brush, maybe even wipe it off and just build it slowly because it's just really, really thick and intense. So there's that right there. Here is the only really like similar one that I could think of again from the Moonchild palette. This is star. So star is a lot more like silvery and dark. Whereas strobe, was it called strobe? I think it was called strobe. Yes. Strobe is lighter and more like white silver. So slightly similar, but really not super close. Then we have on point. This is kind of like a deeper pink sort of a color. It's really pretty. I like this one a lot. So I do have this on my cheeks today. It's like I don't know. It's just so pink that it's like a, a blushy highlight to me is what it looks like just because it's so intensely pink, but it is a gorgeous color. So there is that one right there. As far as like comparisons or things I could find that were even remotely similar, this one right here is again from the Moonchild palette. That one is pink heart. And then this one right here is one of the NYX duochrome the duochromatic illuminating powders. This one is lavender steel. So it's almost like a combo of these two, but way more intense. So just a pretty unique kind of a color. Really, really neat. And lastly is another one of my favorites. This is illusion. This is just like a beautiful pinky purpley sort of a color. It's really amazing. I do have this on also. So I have this one a little bit lower and then I have illusion higher up on my cheekbones. So they're both there, but they're just kind of like layered a little bit. So that's what it looks like in the pan there. As far as in a swatch, it's amazing. Oh my goodness. Just look at that. It's just kind of like right in between a pink and a purple. Amazing. As far as comparison swatches, really not that close. This one is again, the NYX duochromatic illuminating powder in lavender steel. It's lighter and more pink and really just not that close. And then the one on the bottom there, this is from the Moonchild palette. This is purple horseshoe. And that one is just darker and more purpley and less like metallic. So this one is just like bright and intense and right in between a pink and a purple. It's just amazing. I absolutely love this one. Here is a look at all of the swatches here together. So just really beautiful and unique. Like I really was debating when I first heard about this palette coming out, like I was instantly intrigued by it. And when I was looking at swatches, the few that I could see online, um, it instantly intrigued me, but I thought, oh, I probably have similar things like that in my collection. Do I really need it? I went ahead and ordered it just because I was so curious about it. And I'm really glad I did because this really is unique because I feel like it's more colorful versus being like a white or yellowy duochromey sort of a highlight that flashes another color. Like I feel like the base of these is more just a color and then they either flash like white or they flash a different color. They're just more colorful. I feel like so just really different and unique and just really, really artsy and cool. So now let's talk about the texture on these. I really don't think that this is the best texture because 
These are very pigmented, which is not a bad thing. That's, you know, nice that they have good pigmentation to them, but they're a very thick sort of a texture. So when you go to apply these on your face, you just get a lot of color and a lot of product and it really just kind of sticks. Now it does blend, you can move it around and it does blend. I don't find it like necessarily hard to blend, but I found that I've had to like take my foundation brush and kind of go around the sides because it just is so much product and it's just so thick. So if you get this, I would say go into it knowing um, it is just a thicker sort of a texture, less is more. So get just the tiniest little bit on your brush, maybe even tap off your brush, wipe a little bit off your brush and build up slowly. Cause if you just go ham in here, um, they do kick up some products. So you're going to get, you know, a lot of dirtiness in your palette, but also you're just going to have like a strip of color on your face, very likely. So not the best texture, but not completely unusable. I, th I think it's very workable. You're just gonna probably have to do some tweaking with it um, and maybe switch up your application technique. So my overall review on this palette is that I really do like it. I mean, application, you're gonna have to do some tweaking probably. The texture isn't like the greatest, but I think it's affordable and I think it's really unique and artsy and fun. Who would this be best suited for? I think anybody that loves kind of like artsy, out there, different sort of makeup. If you're into these kind of colors and just um, more like creativity with your makeup, I think you would really, really like this. Just again, you may have to do a little bit of tweaking with your application technique. All right guys, so that wraps up my review on the BH Cosmetics Blacklight Palette. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you've tried this palette, what do you think about it? What are your favorite ways to use it? I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.